Steadfast Noon is our annual live fly nuclear deterrence exercise consisting of 13 nations, 10 participating with aircraft, and three sending observers. This reinforces our nuclear deterrence uh, for the NATO alliance. Anytime we fly, it's a team fight. So that includes uh, aircraft participating in different roles, not in the attack role, but in the support role, including uh, intel intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance assets, uh, tanker aircraft, electronic warfare, and a host of support aircraft. Anytime the Alliance comes together and works together, we learn from each other, and that's uh, beneficial to us going forward. Uh, from the headquarters perspective, uh, we gain great insight into how our policies and procedures will be interpreted by the Alliance and how they're put into practice. One of the main differences from the conventional fight is uh, on the nuclear side, we have an always never problem. Uh, on the always side, we call it positive control, and that is the command and control of that asset uh, that starts at the political level and goes all the way to uh, the pilot delivering the weapon. Uh, on the surety side, or the nuclear surety side, uh, that is to prevent any unauthorized access or uh, protect the weapon uh, against a full series of threats. For instance, uh, one of the things that we're practicing this year is uh, fighting against uh, small unmanned aerial vehicles and the threat that that poses. Uh, and we see that uh, obviously in different fights and different conflicts throughout the world. Uh, as we come together as an alliance and uh, fight together uh, in, steadf in Steadfast Noon, uh, one of the things that we are protecting against is the uh, chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear uh, effects. Uh, Together as an alliance, we bring together different capabilities and different contributions from the allies. And as we do that, we learn from each other uh, and we are able to provide a more robust protection for those assets. One of the benefits of working together uh, as an alliance is uh, as we bring on new capabilities such as fifth generation aircraft, uh, we learn from the nations that are starting with those aircraft uh, and then being able to incorporate the tactics, techniques, and procedures that they learn uh, into the nuclear mission, uh, which benefits the Alliance as a whole. NATO is not new to nuclear deterrence, and we've been doing the exercise Steadfast Noon for decades. Uh, in the past, past few years, we've talked about it more to be more transparent, uh, but as long as nuclear weapons exist, NATO will remain a nuclear alliance, and it will remain safe, secure, and effective.